Hi, Andrea here. Welcome to my workshop. In this video, I will be making the paper towel holder that it's vertical and it works really fine. But you will see that at the end of the video. I'm choosing the lumber here for this project and it's uh, some oak pieces that I had. It's white oak. And I'm preparing the planer to do the rough milling of the lumber and then I cut it to sizes later. As of today's date, we are not anymore using this uh, Hammer A341. We actually upgraded to the Felder AD741, but that will be a feature video because I don't like to make the reviews before I use the machine for some time. So here I'm just setting the guard for the planer, but first I will be measuring the parts uh, just rough uh, sketches so I know which part goes where and you can see this wood was split and it was not uh, to be used in a long uh, strip like it seems to be here. So I cross cut it on my table saw. This, these are all rough cuts because the lumber is not yet uh, dimensioned. I have a flexible hose on the, from the dust collection and uh, we installed also these remote controls so we can turn it on uh, by every main machine. There now I'm passing these really small pieces through the planer. Uh, it's quite safe operation when you know what you're doing, otherwise don't try this. So one face is brought flat and then to that face we refer that to the fence and uh, we take one edge 90 degrees to that face. Then I use the bandsaw because these pieces are quite thick and I mill them to the thinner boards. Once this is done, I have uh, a parallel edge uh, from the jointer and then I pass the pieces through the table saw to the final width or very close to the final width because I still need to clean that edge from the table saw marks. Now I prepare my uh, planer to the, or thicknesser to the size. I use this drill attachment that I made uh, to um, get quickly the beds raised up so I can plane. And then now I'm thicknessing those pieces to the uh, very close dimension to what they will be, including some sanding and so. Or at least I thought so, because I made a quite mistake later in the video and you will see. But before I continue, I would like to mention uh, shoes that I got from Herc Shoes. And these are probably the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn in my life. And they're safety shoes. Uh, that uh, this is the model I like the best the black shoes and they're so incredible like last six months I was looking forward to putting this on in the morning and they're re really 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 that comfortable do yourself a favor and buy them and come back in the comments and comment on how good they are they're really so good and if you if you buy them there you can also write the code Andrea 10, which will give you 10% of discount on your purchase and they're extremely light and very, very comfortable. I can't state that enough. They're really that good. As of this video, I was wearing the Vans that I shown here and their weight, but since then I use only the Herc shoes and they're absolutely fantastic. So go there, buy them and you will love them. So now I'm setting the table saw to the five millimeters uh, depth because I'm using here the curve maker. I want to make some dados or grooves into the boards. And uh, this is how it works. It has this um, tab that you move left to right or to another position and then your curve comes really, uh, really, really good, your dado. And now you'll see when I joined it, I put the piece inside and this is perfect for gluing. 
then I was drawing some curves to make it uh, more beautiful. The functionality is basically you can screw three pieces of boards together and drill a hole through them like here and you would have a paper towel holder within I don't know half an hour probably not anymore but I wanted to make it beautiful also because I really like it in our workshop so I'm using variety of tools here but this project can be made with really really basic tools like you could do this with a hand saw and with a drill that's all you need for this project don't be discouraged if you see like so many fancy tools in the shop it's really a simple project and now I'm using this uh, belt uh, slash this sender that was funded by my patreons and I really thank them for that because I use the money that you send me to support my channel or our channel uh, me and my brothers with uh, with the money we buy uh, those tools. I also buy the smaller tools like chisels and uh, some uh, knives and so on but they're too small to put the message on them so I put the message on these machines. And this is uh, an old drill press that uh, we sold and eventually upgraded but it worked. Now I'm measuring for the support of the bottom uh, shelf of the paper holder that's actually where the paper is, uh, stays on and this is the back part and when I routed the edges to make them beautiful I found the problem that I cannot continue that uh, that uh, molding onto the sides and I had the problem so this didn't work and I had to mill those uh, grooves I made before with the curve maker all the way to zero and basically making this board thinner but still there was enough material to um, make it possible to work uh, yeah this mistake happen but then you always can find a way through them if not then you would use new boards and remake this project is not I was not that far into it so this wasn't a big deal uh, well the first thing that came to mind was the domino but again you could just screw this board from behind with the screws and it would be plenty strong I just wanted to to use another tool I <laughs> I think so and that's the joint and some of the holdfasts that we use in the bench these are really cool tools now again I added some profile with the router just some 45 very simple and then I put on some masking tape onto the backboard because I wanted to carve a viking dragon so I make it like really cool looking and for this I use the easel it's a very simple program from uh, Inventables and uh, here I'm using the machine that it's from Mechanica uh, it was sent to us to my brother actually channel Epic Workshop but I like also to use it and I'm showcasing it here it's a very very cool machine really well built and uh, it has quite some power to move around uh, we really like it to use it there we build a little dust collection for it it's funny but it works fine because I like that for the small bits that don't produce a lot of chips you can uh, follow the bit if it breaks or something you can spot it on time and then the program was doing its job and when it was over it was as hard as to remove all of those tape that I put before because it was like 1000 pieces and uh, it was really a bad mistake you will see that later but I didn't show much of that because it the video would last like another I don't know three hours so the spindle sander also supported by patreons thank you one more time that that is a great tool we really like it for the curves and then some of the sending causes burning because my sandpaper is all, all, already old so I had to repair it with wraps a little bit and then some additional sanding for the surfaces just to make it look pretty this is all not needed if you want just a functional piece it will work just like I said like three four boards screwed together it would work perfectly I clamped it together, put some glue in it so it's uh, indestructible for the rest of, I don't know, many lives probably. And the machine meanwhile uh, ended its job. And then I figured out my mistake of 
<laughs> having to take all of that tape off. It would be easier to actually uh, to engrave it and then to just uh, sand it and it would be clean. But like this I had to remove all the tape. Then I made the other design of the two dragons together and this one I was smarter. I just sanded it later and it came out really really clean. Now it's not visible but later I will put some wax on uh, and then it will come to life. Now I just drill some holes for the fixing it to the wall and it was time to assemble it together. I assembled it from the back only with one screw because those screws on the edges were supposed to be before when the board was wider but because of that profile sir, I messed up so I had to uh, miss those uh, holes but uh, one screw and two dominoes will be plenty enough to hold it. There I cut the piece that will be uh, like a dowel that passes through the paper part. This could be a square piece of wood also, you don't need to make it round. I just wanted to make it round with a plane, so I produced a lot of shavings and it was a good workout, just a little bit, to enjoy the sounds of uh, planing the wood. And then some sanding, of course, and trying it out. That's it. It just goes in the bottom hole a little bit. Uh, not true because it would fall down to the ground. This is very important when you're drilling to drill the bottom hole just a little bit. And then I use my probably my favorite finish of all and that's the linseed oil. And the new camera rig is also here. We can do these fantastic overhead shots. There I cover all and then I use the wax, the dark wax like I said and when I put it in like you can see the image pops because the dark wax goes into the grooves. There I use the famous Rubio monocoat for staining the little dowel. And then just drilling, installing some anchors into the wall. This house is 400 years old and we are drilling into the stone behind the, this uh, white, <laughs> white thing. And there it goes, the, the paper towel works fantastic and we haven't had any problems with it. I, I don't know why would you have. It's so easy project to do. I encourage you to do your own and uh, to try it out. This is a perfect beginning project. If you don't do all of the carving and the uh, joints and so on, I said you can do it with the saw and the drill and this would be ready in no time. Again, thanks to my Patreons for supporting your channel and thanks to you for watching this video to the end. I hope to see you soon. Uh, have a great day. Bye bye.